drinks talking and it's saying, drink me. <laughs> I make life more fun. <laughs> Everybody from a high school kid to a bum on the street knows that. Let's talk wine. Karen, you have any preference? Honey, I'd suck the alcohol out of a deodorant stick, so you're asking the wrong gal. You don't know how to drive, do you? Ah, never had to. Plus, somebody's got to be the designated drinker. <laughs> Drinks piling up on my desk and a stack of pills I haven't even opened yet. You've been out here for so long, you must be freezing. Here, I brought you some soup. Oh. <laughs> Karen, this is gin. There's noodles in it. <laughs> Look at this place. All ready for the little ones. I had so much fun buying all these kids' toys. And look what I brought. Juice boxes. Huh? <laughs> Hello? Rule number one. Unless you're served in a frosted glass, never come within four feet of my lips. <laughs> I smell liquor on my breath. You're drunk. <laughs> Rosario, you'll go in first. I need some water. Again? There goes my everything. Stop worrying. She's just a maid. Just a maid? It's like saying that Prada's are just shoes or vodka is just a morning beverage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. Rosie, would you mind leaving? I'd wring your neck, but I don't want to be standing in a puddle of gin. I know Mrs. Walker. Oh, yeah, I remember you. Stan and I met you at the Whitney opening. You were the bartender. <laughs> <laughs> No, you just gave me your drink order. Yeah, and I'm still waiting for it. Let me try to explain this in, in terms you'll understand. I'm tequila. Oh, I'm liking this story better already. These are my friends, gin, vodka, and scotch. Hello, Karen. <laughs> Vodka. <laughs> <laughs>